Author John Steinbeck once described the Sea of Cortez as alive with sea life of every conceivable variety. Jacques Cousteau called it the aquarium of the world. Today, the once abundant life in the Sea of Cortez has almost vanished. The large reef fish and great pelagics of the deep have been severely depleted due to unregulated fishing. In the last eight years, even the reef fish have disappeared. The inshore reefs of the Sea of Cortez, for the most part, are completely barren. How could tens of thousands of tons of reef fish disappear without anyone knowing or caring? This is the story of how it happened, and is still happening, in Baja California Sur, between La Paz and the Loreto Bay Marine Park. By the mid-1980s, approximately 15,000 pongas, small fishing boats commonly used in the Sea of Cortez, were fishing for any species, anywhere, any time of year, and with any type of gear. Worse still, their choice of monofilament gill nets as the preferred way of catching fish meant that this indiscriminate method doomed everything that touched the nets. So few nearshore fish were left by the mid-1990s that fishermen started using two far more aggressive and lethal means of fishing, both of which were illegal. Overnight, these techniques became the main and most effective methods for cleaning the reefs of everything. Fish, lobsters, sea cucumbers, snails, and shells. Anything that could garner a dollar was taken. The first deadly method involves using hookah divers and monofilament gill nets and began appearing along the Baja coastline around 1998. With the hookah system, the diver has an unlimited air supply and can stay underwater for extended periods of time and can dive to depths of 140 feet. Hookah divers found the remaining pockets of reef fish and located their nets nearby. Now the divers could drive the diminishing schools of reef fish into the strategically placed monofilament gill nets. No more passive waiting for the fish to entangle themselves in the nets. Now they could be herded like cattle. In the first years, pongas averaged about 600 to 1,000 kilos of fish per day. Hundreds of tons of small reef fish were taken from the Bay of La Paz, the Loreto Marine Park, and the Gulf Islands in between. Now these reefs are barren of small fish. About six years ago, a new, much more devastating method of mass killing was introduced that has totally stripped the reefs between La Paz and Loreto of the larger reef fish not already caught in the nets. This method utilizes hookah divers working at night with spear guns. These divers are called pistoleros. After incorporating Hawaiian slings and refining their techniques, their average nightly catches were 1,200 to 1,500 kilos per panga per night. What started in 2000 as about seven pongas has now grown to about 40 full-time and 60 part-time pongas working as pistoleros between La Paz and Loreto. By 2002, the pistoleros of La Paz and Loreto were taking over a thousand tons of reef fish every year. Anecdotal evidence abounds. This single panga with two brothers from Guaymas sold over 50 tons of reef fish their first year as pistoleros in the waters off La Paz. Depending on the time of year, 40 to 75 percent of the fish in local markets come from pistoleros, and about 15 to 30 tons of fish and lobster are shipped each week from La Paz to the mainland markets. Because of the scale of the slaughter in previous years, these pongas now get only about 150 to 200 kilos a night. Yet even today, as the last reef fish disappear, this illegal method of fishing continues to grow in popularity, especially on the Pacific side of the Baja. The destruction is most shocking in the Loreto Bay National Marine Park, which was created by a presidential decree in 1996. The park covers 2,065 square kilometers in the Sea of Cortez. In 2005, the park was inscribed to the United Nations list of protected world heritage sites. Yet as we've seen, there are almost no fish left on the reefs of this national park. 
Where were the outraged citizens of the Baja and the fisheries officials during this devastating slaughter? The people were unaware, officials were underfunded and often corrupt. As a World Heritage Site, stewardship of these natural resources is the responsibility of everyone. As citizens of Mexico and the world, we must immediately demand that this senseless slaughter be stopped. Over 800 species of marine life once inhabited the Sea of Cortez. Most are currently endangered or have already disappeared. The need for immediate protection is critical, yet protection is still not being offered by those in charge. Unless we, the citizens of Mexico and the world, demand protection for the reefs from local, regional, and national authorities, there will be no life left to preserve on the dying reefs of the Sea of Cortez.